Do you fancy a player spotlight for a world-class midfielder roughly valued about a £3.5 million? Or oh, go on then. Well, welcome back viewers. Thank you for spending some of your quality time uh, watching one of my videos. I really appreciate it. Remember, if you haven't done so already, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't. That would be fantastic. And of course, if you can hit the like button as well, all helps the channel. We have a great player for you today. We do have a great player. You're going to see him at a few different clubs yet again, the, the new process that we have. But like last week, we have a player today who is a little bit further uh, on age-wise. 19 years of age at the start of the game. You can still pick him up fairly cheap though. And he is a boss. 170 potential ability. Shall we take a look? This is the player, Argentinian Fausto Vera uh, from Argentinos Juniors. Already a really good player, a solid player that you can potentially play in your teams, if not as a rotation, uh, depending on what league you are in. But I would suggest that you give this guy a chance straight off the bat because he has really good like attributes to help a player who doesn't quite have the ability yet. He has like really good mental attributes such as anticipation uh, and the work rate. Determination of, of 12 will do uh, and the technical attributes are fairly good. A lot of 13s viewers and that is what will carry this guy uh, at the start of his career even though he is only at a current ability of 116. He will play a lot better because a lot of his attributes are very well spread out around about 13. So he, he's not really bad at anything and he's not exactly amazing at anything. He's just good at most things. But you can pick this player up, like I mentioned before, for £3.5 million. And if you bargain with him a little bit more, you add a couple of clauses maybe. I don't know what you what you guys like to do. You can probably get him for a lot cheaper. Uh, and let's see what club we stick him at. So the club I have chosen to put Fausto Vera up is Rijeka in Croatia. Now, the reason why I picked this team is Dynamo Zagreb are kind of the dominant force in this league. Uh, Rijeka are kind of like second slash third with Hajduk split. So it'd be nice to see whether he can really overthrow them in his couple of years at the club. And it will only be a couple of seasons here in Croatia before we move them on, uh, but we'll talk about that. Uh, let's go forward a couple of years first. We always seem to really skip the first season. Let's go forward a couple of seasons and, and summarize his time in Croatia. Well, look at here, folks. It is the end of the second season. It is the 1st of June, 2021. And what a sight to behold this is. Rijeka winning the league the second time of asking. And Fausto Vera was probably the main reason for that. He had the highest average rating. He had the most assists in the league. What a player we already have on our hands. Now, I have, I've been, I didn't really mention on the last one the positions that I played him because he was just a striker, so I just kept him there. But I have been moving this guy around uh, different positions. So the first season, I played him in a deep line playmaker role. We will look at that and see how he did. This second season, though, it's Mazala on attack, viewers. It's Mazala on attack. I wanted to see exactly how he did. It is basically just a custom Gagan press. I didn't really change much, especially position wise. It's exactly how you'd see it. All I changed was I put a Mazan on attack and I stuck Fausto Vera in that role and he has performed incredibly well. So let's look at him. Let's look at him already. He had, I remember rightly, 116 uh, potent, uh, current ability. He now has 135. So that has climbed up quite a lot in two seasons. He is now a 21 year old and he is one of the best players in the league already. Vision, 15. Work rate, 15. Great stuff. A lot of these 13s now turn to 14s, and he already looks more of an attractive player uh, to the eye. Stamina and strength, very good indeed. He's 5 foot 10, so he's a decent size. You can play him in his natural role of deep blind playmaker role, or you can move a little bit further forward and look how many good positions he is good at. If you want to play a deep line playmaker role in centre midfield, he can do that. Mazal on attack, like I want him to. He can do that. The box to box, the Carolero. What he, he can't, it's not really a position he can't do. He's good at most things. He's probably the most versatile midfielder that we have here because he is good at dribbling. He isn't bad at crossing. There isn't really much that he isn't good at. All right, he can't take a throw in or take a penalty. He's not much of a leader or a jump. But the rest of it, he's good at. And so let's have a look at the two seasons that we had. On the deep line playmaker role, two goals, seven assists. That's still really good. 
That is still really good considering uh, his rating and his current ability as well. A 7.18 average rate. And they didn't win the league, by the way. I did check. They also didn't win any cups. But this season, that is fantastic. For Mazala on attack, a centre midfielder, 31 appearances as well. Like five less than, than previous. Eight goals, 11 assists. Four player of the matches with a 7.42 average rating. Uh, he got 14 assists and nine goals in total for a, a cracking season. Now, competition-wise, uh, this is how they did. So they were eliminated from the third round knockout, uh, the qualifying, sorry, and they were knocked out by Ajax in the first round knockout. So unfortunate. Knocked out by Zagreb in the quarterfinal, but they were they had the last laugh, viewers. They won the league by a point. Great stuff. Now. He does have a release clause in his contract of 20 million. I activated that and I sent him to one country and one country only, Spain. And viewers, I sent him to Atletico Madrid. I want to see how this player does uh, for Atletico Madrid. I think it's quite a nice little fit. He is kind of in the similar ilk as a Koke or a Sao Niguez. A, a, a player very good at a lot of things. Our first season, as you can see, the end of the first season, 80 points, finishing in third place where they expected, nowhere near second, nowhere near fourth. In their own little league, really. Uh, he isn't here to be seen, other than the most yellow cards. He picked up the most yellow cards. But we are playing him this season, again, as a deep line playmaker. Now, contract to overview, 149 current ability, so he is uh, climbing back up. Now, he was playing there, there, you can see, as a deep line playmaker in this kind of formation here. So, actually, we've changed it here so that he will play Mazala on attack in the future. But this is the formation we are playing in currently. I have adapted the formation we were using for World Rotter Domination. And instead of having three centre midfielders here, we have three centre backs because Atletico Madrid has three really good centre backs. So, that's what we're doing there. But Fausto Vera. As we can see already, he's progressed really nicely. A lot of the attributes that you can see uh, are now green, which is great to see. A lot of a good marking, great fast touch as well. Some of the mental attributes progressing lovely. Stamina and strength up 15 as well. He's rated at a three-star current ability with a four-star potential, so he still has a way to go yet at 22 years of age. Now, have a look at the history. He hasn't scored a goal yet in the league. He got three assists uh, from that deep line playmaker role and he got 7.09 average range. So you would suggest that he's finding it slightly difficult because he never actually scored a goal for them uh, in the deep line playmaker role. Maybe that is not the really uh, a dominant force of a role to use him in. That is why I want to see what he's like in a Mazala on attack in the same league. I actually bought him for 10 million. I lied. I thought I bought him for the, uh, the minimum fee release clause. I didn't. I didn't. As we, let's have a look at the uh, the valuation of the player, though. 17 million. Already made a profit on that. That's fine. And if you consider that you only spent 3.5 million pound at the start, 17 million already. You're laughing. Competition wise, they were the runner up of the Champions League viewers, and they won the Super Copa uh, de España, the fifth round of the uh, the Copa del Rey. But the runner up to Liverpool, unfortunately they were knocked out. And of course he played in that game. Fausto Vera, he came off in the 80th minute after putting in a 6.8 average rate. Mohamed Salah and Firmino uh, picking up the trophy in pretty much a dominant game by Liverpool. But hey, maybe it's the formation that didn't quite work out against that Liverpool side. Right, okay, that's three seasons in and he's already reached a Champions League final. What happens in the other two years? Because we're only going five years in this one. So it is now the end of the 2024 season, which means we have gone forward a full five seasons. Now, a little bit of an error, I think, on this one. He didn't play as many games as what Hope. This is the player we are looking at. 160 current ability. Again, like last week's, he hasn't reached his full potential of 170. So he will become even better. Uh, but look at these fundamentals that we are seeing in the mentals. That's uh, difficult, isn't it? The composure, the decision-making, uh, the greens down here, really good stuff from a centre midfielder. Yes, his passing is only 14, but I still think uh, 14 is good enough, especially in a league like this, when he has vision of 17. Uh, stamina and strength is great to see for a centre midfielder. Uh, he can even play at centre-back if you really need him to, but... I wouldn't suggest that. Mazala on attack is kind of where we want to see him. Now, I did try a different formation as well, uh, and I also moved his position role. So I actually played him as a Carolero for this last season. So we played Mazala on attack here. 35 games he played as a Mazala on attack. Four goals, six assists, 
a 7.06 average rating. So a lower average rating, but a bit better return. Uh, and he actually scored five goals in total with 10 assists. Now this season, and I don't know why I've checked his injuries. I have no idea why, but he only played 22 games. And I don't, I just, I'm baffled by it, viewers. I really am baffled by it. I holidayed it correctly. I just don't, I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it in because why not? You need to see that some of these experiments go wrong and the time and effort that you put into it sometimes uh, is a lot, really, considering. So be grateful, for fuck's sake. No, <laughs> I'm joking. Now, anyway, Fausto Vera is now valued at £46 million. And he's wanted, so he's obviously doing quite a good job, by Paris Saint-Germain and Tottenham. So there we go, viewers. Uh, two massive clubs want him. I, I can see people already writing jokes about Tottenham being a massive club. But that's fine. My dad will argue otherwise. They are a massive club. Uh, anyway, £46 billion. You'd like to think if you were to sell him with clubs that wanted him, you could probably get around about the 60, 60 million pound mark for a player that you spent £3.5 million on. Uh, that is quite good, really, isn't it? So I'm really happy with it. Really happy with the player that he's turned out to be. I would quite happily be putting him in my side on World Rock Domination, especially as that Mazala on attack. He has the attributes to be very good in that role. Uh, so 14 long shots as well. Great dribbling, great first touch. He'll get into the opposition area if you give him preferred moves, which I haven't done on this one. Another mistake I made myself. Competition-wise, they didn't do too well, to be honest. They were out of the Euro Cup because they had a bad season beforehand. Uh, so they are out of the Euro Cup in the quarterfinal by Bayer Leverkusen, and they were runner-up in the Copa del Rey to Real Madrid. Did they win it in between? I've got a feeling they didn't. They did not. So that's fine. Esposito, though, top scorer. So there's another man that you need to keep your eye on. Anyway, there we have it, viewers. Fausto Vera is the player for £3.5 million, a kind of player who, at 19, you could potentially start in majority of your sides wherever you go around the world. And by 24, you'll win your money well back and then some. £46 million in the right scenario. And really, depending where you are, he could bring you a lot of success. He will get better than this if we gave him a little bit more time. Of course, he is only 24 years of age. By the time he gets to 26, 27, uh, we would hope to see that he is around the 170 current ability mark, uh, which would make him one of the best centre midfielders in the world, viewers. Very good player indeed. So there we have it once again. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. You need to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Remember, if you want early access to these videos, uh, videos like this or the tactic tester, sometimes the uh, series that we have going on, then page.com forward slash Gaming. Just the $4 tier is where you can get early access as well as some other nice cool little rewards uh, for joining and supporting me on the Patreon. Uh, it really does go a long way. I would continue doing as many of these videos if it wasn't for these patreon members that you see at the end of the video in the credits uh, i just wouldn't it wouldn't be viable for me that what i make from youtube is absolutely peanuts compared to uh what you guys help support me financially and it, it allows me to able so that my, my wife doesn't have to go back to work so that she can look after our baby uh, and i can do this as a sort of second job and financially help us when we move house in a couple of months' time. So I honestly really appreciate everyone who does subscribe to the Patreon. And anyone who's considering subscribing to the Patreon. Uh, I really do appreciate just the thought of it. Uh, but you guys just like it and share it all helps me grow. And that eventually will help me financially as well. Just your view actually helps me kind of financially. Just It's very shit, isn't it? YouTube algorithm. And it's, it's very shit. But still, thank you very much. Anyway, that's... Uh, that took a bit of a tangent, didn't it? Wow, viewers, got a bit personal here on the Mega Loot Gaming channel. A little bit of personal stuff behind the curtains. Transparency. It's all good. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, remember to smash that like button. Hit the Patreon page if you want some early access to some videos or to sponsor a player. And here is a video that I think you might like.